All right, so I've just finished playing Block Tales Demo 2, and I have just wanted to make a video talking about the lore. This is going to be very different from every other time I talk about the lore, because usually it's me, like, dissecting the lore and then telling you what the lore is or what the story is. But um, for this video, it's going to be more of, like, a questionatory video, because I feel like the story of the game is very obvious and straightforward and it doesn't really need someone to explain it because well it's obvious it's something that you're just going to play through and this is going to be more of a question as to is there any more deep lore that i'm missing because i've played through the game twice at this point um not too seriously but you know me i, I like looking through things and i didn't really encounter anything that spoke to a deeper lore or story here so I'm just going to tell you what I've seen, what I've found, what I think, and then at the end, um, I'm just going to have some questions to lay out, and you guys in the comments can tell me what you found, if anything, because I know that a bunch of people on my channel, especially, um, will play this game more than I have. So anyways, let's just really get into it. So basically, story of the game is, well, you wake up, you meet Terry, you get killed by Terry if, if you say you're going to kill him. You meet Shedletsky, he's been beat up, um, apparently by Builderman, who has stolen and hidden away, taken um, the Swords of Time. And um, Shedletsky had scattered the Swords of Time to do these different regions, um, and it's our job to just collect them so that Builderman can't have them. Obviously, um, we meet the Cruel King, uh, we beat him, we get his sword. We go to the jungle place, uh, we fight Griefer, um, we take the sword from him after he turns himself into a plant. We learn of Builderman being the one behind this, and well, that's the end of Devil 2. Um, really, the only lore or implication of lore that's really there, as, um, aside from one, there's Builderman, um, is that the Swords of Time, they appear to morally corrupt those who use them. Like with the Cruel King, um, you can easily see um, when you fight him again that the Cruel King is actually a nice guy and that the sword was actually, well, the Ice Dagger was actually making him like act malicious and be evil um, because, well, he used to be good. And then with Griefer, well, it seems that Griefer always seemed to be estranged from his father and was just kind of a nuisance. It appears the Venom Shank just kind of made him more malicious and just that search for the Venom Shank it consumed him and then literally uh, he turns himself into a plant monster because of the Venom Shank's power. And the mayor even calls it a, like a, an accursed thing. And for whatever reason, the main player is immune to the effects of these corrupting swords. As far as speculation goes, um, the only real like theory that I have, and it's not really a theory, it's just more speculation. I assume that Builder Man, obviously he's going to be the final boss of the game, and he's going to be wielding the Dark Heart sword. That's my guess. Um, and I think the Dark Heart, since all the swords appear to have some sort of corrupting power about them, I bet the Dark Heart is going to be the most corrupting of them all, and might even have some sort of evil entity inside that's controlling Builderman as like a puppet. Because it's very weird to have Builderman, the mascot of Roblox to some extent, be the main antagonist when usually he's part of Roblox's development and stuff like that. Like, in the, usually in how these games go. So I assume the Dark Heart is completely just controlling him because there's some sort of entity inside it. Um, I think we can obviously just assume what the rest of the swords are going to be. There's Wind Carver, uh, Firebrand, and of course the Illumina and Dark Heart. Um, oh, and Ghost Walker, yeah. Um, I think the next sword we get is going to be Wind Carver because the last three or the last four are like the most talked about swords that there are in Sword Fight on the Heights stuff. So, yeah, um, that's really all of the lore that I can, like, talk about. I really do believe that there's deeper lore here, and I'm just missing it. Like, there were the snowmen in the, um, ice place where you talked to them, they had some pretty cryptic dialogue, but I don't think it really led to anything, as far as I know. Obviously, we have just the implication of what the swords can do to people, that, that corruption, um, that is a pretty big piece of lore that could be talked about but i don't really know that's why i'm i'm once again i'm reaching out here um i want to know people who play this game religiously who have seen every nook and cranny who have seen things looked at them taking them much more than i have people who have finished the pit because i cannot get past the four statue guards 
Uh, tell me, um, is there any deeper lore in this game that I am missing? Um, please, please tell me about it, because I want to talk about Block Tales more and more um, as the chapters come out, and as there's more lore just to talk about. So, um, really, that's kind of just going to be it. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'm sorry that this is just, like, a weirder, like, video. Like, I, I know you're expecting, like, something, like, diving into the lore, but really, I just can't find it, and I just want to know if it's, like, there or not, or if it's just me searching in vain. So anyways, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Please, please, please give me some answers in the comments, and I'll see you guys all next time for another theory video. <laughs>